Okay. It's a long explanation. Ubar Johnson, if you don't know who he is, he is a guy of the African American persuasions who says he is a doctor of clinical psychology. He is a family therapist. Mind you, those are two different professions, but okay. He is a therapist. He is a psychologist. He is a psychiatrist. He is a family therapist. He is a child therapist. He is a principal. And to top it all off, he is King Kong Consciousness, the Prince of Pan-Africanism. So he has said all this stuff himself, so he does kind of boost himself up to be who he is. So why am I doing a reading on him? Because he said he was going to open a school called the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy for Black Boys to teach them history, to teach them agriculture, to teach them basically everything that the white man is not teaching them, right? And so commend you on that, fine, whatever. But he has asked for donations to build this school. He has gotten over $700,000. He has, I said, I did a reading on him a long time ago and said that he was going to make it seem as though he has a school open, but it's not really open. And lo and behold, he got himself a building that he calls the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. He said this in particular building needs to be renovated. It needs everything. So he's asking his followers for a million dollars more to renovate the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy for Black Boys in order to get it open and all that. Now, if he is so popular, because he said he is one of the most or the most respected or no requested black scholars in the world, not America, in the world. How he knows it, first of all, I don't know. But if he goes anyway, I won't go through all that. Like I said, this is going to be a long explanation. <laughs> um, anyway, back on track. So he's asking for money for renovations. Now, you would think that this is such a good cause. Why is he not getting all this money for renovations? Well, because he has very um, combative and dangerous words. And he discriminates. I'll just, we'll just call it that. He discriminates and he discriminates a lot. Um, there can be no white instructors in his school. There can be no black people dating white people in his school. There can be no people of the LGBTQIA and community in his school. So he's a very, mind you, when it's his school, he gets to make the rules. When it's his bill, he wants y'all to pay for it. Because now we have a tax bill on this Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Sailor Moon Academy for Black Boys. Now he has a tax bill and he wants to know, hey, where y'all money? <laughs> That's rude. I shouldn't. <laughs> he want to know where y'all money is. Where them texts. Because, mind you, he had a PayPal, a Cash App, a uh, GoFundMe. I don't know if he's done Kickstarter. He's had everything, and all of them has kicked him off or kicked him out. PayPal suspended his account. Cash App suspended his account. Uh, GoFundMe suspended his account and told people, you need to get you some refunds. You can get it if you want to, but the money just going to sit there until we are forced to give you a refund, as in he can't get this money. All these people are not wrong. All these people aren't lying on you. So there is something dirty in the water. So, Umar Johnson, are you going to go to jail for tax evasion? Or are you going to come up with the money to pay these taxes? Let us see. The first card I get is the fool. I, I can't even... <laughs> I mean, taxes, I understand... Because because mind is he has personal taxes. He also has child support payments he needs to make too. 
Mind you, he wants to open an academy to take care of your boys because he doesn't trust you raising your own children, but he won't raise his own. So, but that's besides the point. As is not besides the point because he's claiming to be a principal or um, some sort of leader in the community taking care of people's children. First card he gets is the fool. Second card is the Four of Cups. Here is an offer you do not want. This is um, something coming from something higher up you don't want. So now we're talking tax bill. So here's our setup here. Um, it's not just tax bill. There is another obligation you are on the hook for. At least three others, but I know one other for sure. It does have something to do with financial, but it's not the child support thing. Unless he has three children. But there is something else, like a like bills of some sort, like a water bill or light bill or some other kind of obligation. Something that either you didn't account for or you thought other people were going to pay for. You are on the hook for that, too. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure it will come out. Uh, Ten of Swords. There is an ultimate loss coming to you as well. Uh, let's, we'll keep going. To a swords, there's an indecision. You're going to have to give up one thing for another. So you're going to be put on the spot. Um, do you want to relinquish such and such, or do you want to relinquish such and such, or do you want to go to jail? So you do have a decision that you're going to have to make, and it's not going to be a pretty one, but it is going to be a necessary one. Uh, the hanged man, this is the card of being stuck and stagnant. So this is not something you can... Talk your way out of because you are a good orator. You do know how to do you some good talking, but you can't talk your way out of this one. Wesley Snipes, Red Fox, Lauren Hill, all these celebrities go to jail. Al Capone killed half the world, went to jail for tax evasion. Look at you. You're not getting out of taxes. Five of Swords. This is dishonor, trying to win at all costs. Yeah, want something for nothing. Eight of Wands, communication and quick actions are in your fear. What you fear, though, is um, messages coming from somewhere else. So you fear, you know, the knock on the door, hey, I have a warrant for your arrest type of thing. You fear a message of some sort coming to you that you don't like. Like I said in the beginning with the Four of Cups, there is something you're on the hook for that you don't like. Temperance. This is cooperation, compromise. So that's in your environment. So like I said, you have a decision to make. They are, somebody's going to work with you. So everything's not doom and gloom. I'm not all, I'm not against you. I'm not definitely not on your side though, but I'm not against you. Actually, I kind of am because I think you're dangerous, but that's besides this. To a sword, you have a decision to make. Somebody is going to try to work with you though. Six of cups. That's something from the past. This is something... Basically recurring, this, com this is coming up again. And the Ace of Wands, a new action. So I don't see you going to jail, because I see you working with someone. Um, how are you going to pay? I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure we know. <laughs> but, um... Because he has now since started asking people, stop trying to send me money through... PayPal and Cash App and all this, what he says, lazy ass Negroes need to take the behind to the post office and get a stamp. He wants you to mail checks and money orders to some place in Delaware, his P.O. box. And I'm sure they are. It's enough to keep them, you know, living from day to day at the least. Living out of hotels. Filled with garbage, as he did some video in the entire room he was sitting in was filled with literally garbage. Why don't you go live in your school? Why don't you go something? Why don't you, if it's your school, which it's not, but if it's your school, why don't you just open the door and then let people volunteer? Hey, come out here to the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy for Black Boys and help me pick up some of this trash in here. Help me paint the walls. Help me do something. 
buy some paint and bring it down here so we can paint the classroom, so we can sweep the floor, so we can do the little things ourselves that we don't have to pay anybody for. We can just turn it into, you know, some sort of fun activity. Play some music and, you know, have you some laughs and some giggles while people are cleaning up. You can turn cleaning into a good chore. You can turn, it's, you know, people do it all the time to parks and old buildings. They could do it for you. But why not? Why aren't you in the school? Why haven't we seen the inside of that school ever since that one video? I mean, we know the answer, but I'm just, I just decided I would ask anywho. So, five carts, no, we'll do six. Where's your money coming from? Because you're going to make a deal. Ace of Swords, this is the victory. Again, King of Wands, there is you. And the moon, there is a mystery. The chariot is victory, and the tower is not victory. <laughs> it's justice is balance. Okay, so in the middle, the Ace of Swords. Victory, clarity, truth, right? Lord. But the moon is an ulterior motive. That's what this card is. It's like there's something there, but it's not quite clear. So ulterior, ulterior motive. It's an ulterior motive. So you more than likely get the money. This is um dependability with the chariot it's also victory through effort so you you're probably going to get it from the same place you've been getting it there's going to be less of it like a lot less of it so you're not going to get seven hundred thousand dollars you're definitely not going to get a million but you're going to get enough to stay in these dirty hotels and to skirt justice but what now you have to do is create a completely different budget plan. Because now you have to pay for your dirty hotels and a tax bill every month, too. Or should I say, y'all are going to have to pay for it. 